Ever wondered why some people's texting habits seem off? Could they be narcissists? Today, we delve into the weird texting habits of narcissists. Narcissism, in a nutshell, is an inflated sense of self-importance, a deep need for excessive attention and admiration, and a lack of empathy for others. Sounds familiar? Narcissists often extend their unique set of behaviors to their digital communication, particularly in their texting habits. Yes, that's right. Narcissists have distinct texting patterns that can often leave the recipient feeling puzzled, anxious, and manipulated. These patterns can serve as red flags, helping you identify a narcissist and take necessary steps to protect your mental well-being. From excessive texting to passive-aggressive messages, the narcissist's texting world is a complex one, filled with mind games and manipulation. So, let's unpack some of the texting habits of narcissists. You may have noticed some of these in your own interactions. First up, attention-seeking texts. Narcissists are infamous for their need for constant validation. One telltale sign of this is excessive texting. They bombard you with messages at all hours expecting immediate responses. The world revolves around them and they want you to be a part of their orbit, constantly feeding their need for attention. Next, we have the bragging and boasting. Their texts are often filled with grandiose tales of their achievements, possessions, or connections. It's like they're on a never-ending quest to inflate their image and impress you. But remember, this isn't about sharing joy or excitement. It's about them wanting to be seen as superior. Lastly, fishing for compliments. This can be subtle or overt. They might downplay their successes, hoping you'll jump in to reassure them of their brilliance or they might directly ask for your praise. Either way, it's another strategy to keep the spotlight firmly on them. So what's the common thread here? It's all about the narcissist. Their texts aren't about genuine connection, they're about maintaining their inflated ego. It's a one-sided conversation where your role is to validate and admire them. This isn't a healthy dynamic. So if you're finding yourself on the receiving end of these attention-seeking texts, it might be time to reconsider the relationship. These texts aren't about genuine connection, but about inflating the narcissist's ego. Next, we have control and manipulation. Narcissists love to be in control even in text conversations. They are masters of the art, often using their texts as a tool to manipulate and control the recipient. One common method narcissists use is ignoring messages. They might suddenly disappear from a text conversation leaving you hanging for a reply. This isn't because they're busy or forgetful. Rather, it's a calculated move designed to keep you on edge, always seeking their approval. They may reappear later, offering no explanation for their silence as if nothing happened. This power play is all about control. Another sign of controlling behavior is the use of vague and cryptic messages. Narcissists may send ambiguous or open-ended texts, forcing you to interpret their hidden meanings. This kind of text leaves you feeling confused and insecure, wondering what they really mean. It's a clever way for the narcissist to control the narrative and avoid being held accountable for their words. Sudden bursts of affection can also be a form of manipulation. After periods of silence, a narcissist may shower you with lovey-dovey texts, making you feel special and cherished. But don't be fooled. Often, these moments of affection are followed by demands or guilt trips, designed to manipulate your emotions and keep you off balance. This hot and cold behavior is a classic sign of emotional manipulation. In the world of narcissistic texting, nothing is as it seems. Every message serves a purpose, and that purpose is often to control and manipulate the recipient. It's a twisted game where the narcissist holds all the cards and the rules can change at any moment. Remember, these behaviors are not indicative of a healthy relationship. If you find yourself dealing with these kinds of texts, it's important to recognize them for what they are, tools of control and manipulation. Don't allow yourself to be played. Set boundaries, seek support, and remember, you deserve to be treated with respect and kindness. These texts are designed to keep you on edge and manipulate your emotions. Now, let's address passive-aggressive behavior. Narcissists are masters at disguising insults as compliments. In the world of texting, this often takes the form of backhanded compliments, they might say things like, it's so cute how you try so hard, or I love how you don't care what people think of you. These comments disguised as praise are actually criticisms designed to undermine your confidence. Then there's guilt tripping. 
Narcissists are experts at making you feel responsible for their negative emotions. They might send messages like, I wouldn't be so upset if you had just done what I asked, or you always make me feel so insignificant. This manipulative technique is meant to make you feel guilty and ensure their needs are always prioritized. Lastly, they love playing the victim. They'll spin narratives where they're the wronged party, shifting blame and avoiding responsibility. For example, you're always accusing me of things or you never consider my feelings. These texts leave you feeling confused, guilty and responsible for the narcissist's negative emotions. Lastly, let's look at some additional red flags. These might seem minor, but they can be indicative of narcissistic behavior. Ever noticed an excessive use of emojis or exclamation marks? It might seem like they're just being expressive, but often this is an attempt to compensate for a lack of genuine emotion. It's like a mask, a colorful facade to hide the emptiness behind. Then there's the issue of demanding immediate responses. Now we all appreciate a quick reply, but narcissists take this to another level. They expect an instant response, regardless of what you might be doing. Whether you're at work, in class, or just enjoying some me time, their expectation for you to drop everything and reply is a clear disregard for your time and boundaries. Lastly, a glaring red flag is a lack of empathy in their texts. They might talk incessantly about their day, their problems, their achievements, but when it comes to you, there's a deafening silence. They show little to no interest in your feelings or experiences, which is a stark display of their self-absorption. Remember, these texting habits are not indicative of a healthy relationship. Always prioritize your own well-being and don't hesitate to seek support. It's essential to recognize these patterns for what they are, a manipulation tactic, not a reflection of your worth.